So do you want digital resources in a single and secure place? Now, why do we ask that question? Because I think Jim Devlin asked earlier, is it all contained or do catechists need to run all over the web getting resources? So when you're thinking about using technology for catechesis, you certainly do not have to use a program that's been designed to help provide oversight of your entire program or oversight of a classroom for catechists. Um, you don't have to select a program that will uh, deliver rich media resources or even um, tests or assessments that automatically score and report back to you. Um, and you do not have to choose a program that has all of that in one single website. You could choose to use a variety of resources from all over the web. So there are a lot of great learning um, uh, apps out there. I'll, say, I'll just say apps. Um, a couple come to mind um, uh, that I'm familiar with. Maybe you're thinking of some and would like to share some that you've used in the past. Uh, but what I would say is that when you're thinking about using those tools, um, also consider that you have to get the students to log in to use them. If parents are involved, you have to figure out how to communicate to them how to get logged on. And for each different tool you use, typically there's a different URL or web address. There might be a different login if they have to log in. Uh, some will just say go to a website and put a code in. So you have to use a different code each time you, you use that. Um, and so um, once you begin to use a number of digital learning resources, then you realize that you are running all over the web and you're having to communicate a lot of different uh, URLs or web addresses. Uh, you might be communicating a lot of codes to access the resource or login information for the different websites. Um, so the question is, do you want them in a single and secure place? And I think my answer would be yes, I do. I would want all of those resources, sort of like we just saw, located in one convenient website where any user, be it a child, a parent, uh, an instructor, be it a catechist or teacher, an administrator, or even pastor, uh, father, could log into this one place and see all of the activity that's happening. And if you wanted to supplement that with some outside resource, that's absolutely fine if you want to do that. But do you wanna make your life easier by having everything in one place? You probably do. And then what about security? So I wanna to speak to security because I did show you the messaging earlier. So I'm gonna kinda of go back to that screen and we're going to, uh, I hear one semi co over there somewhere. We are going to click on messages and we are going to see that you can compose a message. Now, if I sent this to um, Alex Alexander and let's say I'm the administrator and I just clicked send, um, it's going to automatically, all of these messages will show in the parent portal. So there's no way of communicating with any child individually and uh, children, um, you know, any communication that a child sends out is, is viewable by their parent as well. So it, it becomes a safe environment. It's also password protected and a private website. So uh, it makes it more safe than just going to any website and accessing information. So I think it's really important to consider that when you are choosing a digital tool for catechetical purposes, um, you would want to consider that you've got as few logins as possible, which a single site would be ideal. And it is a safe and secure place online. Um, all of the assignments are located inside the portal. So it's not like you're sending the child out to a website to access something that they could become distracted and go to another website or get another uh, suggested website. All of this is in a safe, secure environment. So that's very important.